hey, I realized last a couple nights ago where a lot of uh, my fear of, of physical touch comes from. When I was a kid, when I was young, uh, my grandpa, John, whenever we would go over to their house, he would always be sitting in, in the, at the kitchen table. Well, sometimes I remember him sitting at the kitchen table and the door was there. We'd come in over there and he'd be sitting right here. And whenever I'd walk by him, he'd grab me and like pinch and like grab hard or like grab my hair and pull. And he, there would always be a cloud of cigar smoke around him. And I would tr avoid like getting close to him. I would s walk farther away from him. And I was so young and he died when I was, I think, five something like that I, I don't really remember what he looked like I just remember him and his, his aggressive behavior he was in the war I know he was in a tank I believe he was in a tank in World War II maybe that's what that war does to people it makes them aggressive so then I thought that and I remember when all the kids in school would like, not all the kids, and so that's so extreme. When some kids in school would, or people, I guess, would like punch you in the shoulder, and you're like, ah. you're like hey dude, what's going on? And they'll punch you. Like, fuck. Why? The fuck would someone do that? Why are they allowed to do that? Why is like smacking someone on the leg okay? It's not okay. I mean, it, it ha it's okay in that... No, it's not... I don't condone it. If I see it, I want it to stop. And it will. Because the other person will stop. Because I will communicate with them about what's happening. But touch itself is different than aggressive. I mean, I guess mm, there's a balance that you explore with your life, and society has set up regulations and standards of what they think is balanced. Monogamy is thought to be balanced. It seems like evolution. I think we can evolve towards it like truly evolve towards it where we don't lie to each other. Um, that I wanted to say. And also I wanted to talk about how, dude, the troops are coming home from Iraq. The Senate passed uh, a bill or, or put a bill into the thing, you know, and Bush says he's going to veto it and that's fine. You know, let, let the things play out. The troops are coming back. And I think a big reason why the thing, the troops are coming back is because Warren, Philip Warren, decided to do this get out of Iraq campaign video that caught fire, 100,000, hundreds of thousands of views. I don't know how many now, but at the time it was like over 100,000 views or over something ridiculously big and over 100 video responses. People are aware. People are making it happen with their awareness and their, their words. Get out of Iraq. But it's, it's, and that's just directed at other countries, people with guns. To pull the troops, pull the people with the guns out. No, no, I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna do it again. The the get out of Iraq campaign is is on. It's it's. I've already said my piece about it. It's happening. The troops are coming home. Okay. See you later.